Welcome to Greg Game Day Cooking. In this episode, we're going to be doing some pork chops. I've already got them seasoned right here in a bag. You'll see what all we season it with on the monitor. Then we're going to do some white rice. First thing we're going to do, we're going to drop this butter in the pan for the white rice. And you're going to wonder what I'm doing that for. I'll give you a little tip. That'll give you a little tip when you come home from the eating time. I actually do stuff like this for people who come and uh, into the restaurant and ask me, do I cook anything at home? And I tell them I cook all the time. So this is some seasoned flour that I season with everything that we have over here with the flour. And tonight we're going to do some some uh, mushroom gravy with pork chops. We're going to season the pork chops on one side like this. We're going to shake it off. We're going to drop it in. Okay, we're going to do it. Each one of them like this right here. And we're going to sear it on, sear it on both sides. Until we um, get it right. It's going to be a nice little brown. We're going to seal in all the flavors. Shake it off. Put it in. I'm going to do one more. We that bone in makes it better when you're cooking. It's just like a bone in ribeye steak. You love to eat a bone in ribeye steak, and a pork chop bone in like this is really good too. Now we got the pork chop seared. We're gonna get the rice ready. This ain't finished. You just got home. You wanna you wanna do something that's quick. I want to get this minute rice here, minute white rice. That's what I had the butter for. I'm going to put them down in that butter like that. And we're putting in about two and a half cups of our kids eat a lot of rice. Believe it or not, I'm going to let that sit down. I'm going to stir it like this here, this rice, like this. And I'm going to let it get toasty. Some of them are falling out, but that's all right. We're working. We're working on it. Some of them getting real toasty. Let it get real toasty. I'm going to just keep it like that for a while. Now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn my pork chop over. You don't want your pork chop to get all the way done. See how pretty brown that is? You just want them pretty brown. Then you want to stir this right here, this rice. You see this rice on, I got it on high too. Got to make sure I keep stirring it. But when that butter adhere to it, it gets, it gets, you seal it in and make the rice taste better because it's toasty. It'll get toasty real good. These are for the, the people who, I'm not a professional cook. I, I just do what my mom taught me to do. And from what I learned down through the years myself. Now I'm going to pour this water in here like this. You hear it frying like that there? want to make sure that if, if, if you don't pour enough water in, you got to make sure it's at least a little bit above and then a little bit, a little floating a little bit like that right there. Just like that. Now you want to just let this come to a boil and then you want to put it real low. Put it down real low. And first of all, you want to do what I do. I know I add my salt now. My mom always tell me, say, you don't add your salt the four times. Don't, don't add it no more in there. Raw salt ain't good for you. Now we're going to finish up with this right here. 
the pork chops and the gravy. I'm gonna turn that eye down to low. I'm gonna take some of that flour that I had seasoned. I'm gonna sprinkle it in there. No more about two or three spoonful, but that might be four spoons. And I'm gonna whisk it around like this. Now I'm gonna put my onions over in there. A lot of people are saute the onions first. I like for all my stuff to cook together. I'm building flavor as I go. Let's take us, you just got our work, you just building flavor. I'm putting my onions in here now. You keep stirring. I wish I had smell of it, you can smell those onions. Just a good one. You cook the flour out. You know some liquid coming from somewhere, right? I'm going to give you some liquid. Here's your liquid right here. Red wine. Red wine. About a cup to a half a cup. Whichever you deem good for you. Whatever your taste. We're going to cook this wine down and cook all the alcohol out of the wine. We're going to watch the rice at the same time. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. That's beautiful. I ain't going to no culinary school. Just I went I went to Miss Weston school. Uh, you see that? See how I don't stir that up? I'm gonna make this flavor show enough to come out. See this brown gravy right here? This brown gravy. Tada! See how that's boiling on the rice? Now it's time to turn the rice down low. Let nature take us for. See that brown gravy there? Step over to the sink. And get my whisk. That way down low. Run some hot water. Yeah, I'm just building flavor. Just keep stirring. See how thick that's gotten? That's gotten a lot thicker than what you thought it would. Yeah. Now I'm gonna add some more water. Oh yeah, baby. This way, Mama did. It. I'm gonna season that a little more. You don't have to put that much now. That's not that much salt or anything in it. Just a little bit. You don't want much. Now what you want to do, you want to look around over here and turn your oven on 350. This is where you add your mushrooms in. Now uh, you cook your mushrooms down in here like that. And you want to taste those mushrooms too. Now, we're going to take your pork chops. Place them down in there like that. Doesn't that look good? Now, you want to 
do now. Take away those. You get me a top for this. I'm gonna turn the rice off. Look at the rice. It's already done. Throw this other little thing of butter over the top of it like that. Put it back up. I turn it off. Here we go. Turn this off. Everything's turned off. Here we go to the oven. See you guys in about 40, 35, 40 minutes. Welcome to Greg's Halftime Picks of the Week. This week, Alabama playing Tennessee. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, Tennessee. We lost one two weeks ago. We ain't going to lose this one. And Auburn got to buy. But when you come back, Auburn, you better be ready because you got to go to Ole Miss. We'll see you then. Thank you for watching Greg's Halftime Picks of the Week, sponsored by Greg's Breakfast Bar, where breakfast is just game changing. Now back to the okay, show. Okay, well now we're finna take the pork chop out of the oven, and here we go. You check it out. Did you look at that? That is beautiful. Pork chop. Bone in pork chop, like steak pork chop. You don't even need no steak sauce or nothing. All you need is the gravy to go along with the, the gravy to go along with the rice. And see, we got the rice right here. Rice right here. I heated up some collard greens. I love collard greens to go along with that too. You got to have something green every time you eat. Got to have something green. Mama taught me that. See how beautiful that is? That's beautiful. When I come back, I'm going to show you how it tastes. This is the finish of it right here. You got the pork chop, the rice, the greens, and the cornbread. We cooked the cornbread and the greens yesterday. But um, we added on to this, and this looked good to me. How did that look to you? After 40 minutes, we pulled the cornbread out, the uh, not the cornbread, but the um, pork chop out. It looked real good. Got the mushrooms and stuff on it and all that. It's real good. Thank you for watching Reds. Keep it in the road. <laughs>